out here, lots of our community have been furloughed, made redundant, or at some form of disadvantage due to the pandemic. These people have managed to cover their bills, put food on the table, and supply Christmas presents to their children. It may be unfortunate that a child won't wake up to a PS5 this Christmas, but another child may have woken up to nothing. We have no regrets. So I wanted to include that because, well, first off, I can totally sympathize with anybody that's lost their job, whether it's from the pandemic or not. We've all had low points in our financial life. I'm sure we can all um, look back and we know that we've been through some hardships. I totally get that. But, and I've explained that there is an open market here. If you want to stop it, it has to be done at the source, not the people. But um, with this, I mean, can we maybe cut the excuses for one second and just get real? To do this, you need a lot of money. You need a lot of capital. If you even buy one of these things, you've probably got some expendable cash that you're willing to risk because this is not a no-risk uh, investment opportunity to buy, say, a PlayStation 5 and resell it for what? Maybe twice the price? You're not selling them for 10 times the price, maybe twice the price. And that's a maybe because there's a lot of consoles out there. You might have to accept the best offer on eBay. Um, there's PayPal fees, eBay fees. Um, you run the risk of maybe getting robbed in person if you do this through Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. I mean, let's get real. There are way better places to put your money and invest because that's what it takes to do this in the first place. So if you are experiencing financial hardship, I highly doubt you're getting back on your feet through selling consoles at a premium. We've all seen the pictures of a person in their basement with like 30 PlayStation 5 systems stacked up and they give you the price of like $1,000 each or something. But they decided to respond actually on Facebook because they were getting a lot of backlash because they were also advertising on Facebook like the, hey, you can sign up for this and you, you'll make a bunch of money, quick flips on PS5 system. They were recruiting basically. And that's not making it any easier on people who are just trying to add one to cart to, you know, play Demon Souls or Spider-Man, you know, use the thing. Well, let's go over here. Video Games Chronicles did also pull some of the quotes and we can take a look at that here. Lots of our community have been furloughed, made redundant, or at some form of disadvantage due to the pandemic. These people have managed to cover their bills, put food on the table, and supply Christmas presents to their children. It may be unfortunate that a child won't wake up to a PS5 this Christmas, but another child may have woken up to nothing. We have no regrets. Wow, that is, I, I, get, I guess they're the Robin Hood of, of flipping PlayStation 5 <laughs> systems then. So that's a weird response. If you really consider what they're saying here, they're saying that people who are having a hard time with employment due to the pandemic decided it was a good idea to sign up and pay them a subscription service and then somehow take thousands and thousands of dollars and buy eight, nine, 10 PlayStation 5s and then take the chance of sitting on inventory and then flipping them online? That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, does it? And the way, of course, they play off it is that, oh, a child may not get a PS5 at Christmas because we're selling them for so much, but there's another child that may have just gotten nothing. That's, that's a weird defense overall for this, isn't it?